Hi, in this video, we will cover how to configure and manage database backup and recovery on Nexadata Cloud at Customer. In this demo, I will demonstrate how to configure the database backup settings and how to restore a database on Nexadata Cloud at Customer. Let's take a look. On your Oracle Cloud Console, under the Oracle database, click Exadata Cloud at Customer. Click the name of the VM cluster that hosts the database for which you want to edit the backup settings. Under the resources, click the name of the database for which you want to edit backup settings. In the database details page, you can see information about the selected database. Here we can see that there's no backup settings configured for our database. Then click edit backup settings. Your current backup configuration determines the changes that you can make in the backup settings dialog. From the list, Select a backup destination type. Select none if you do not define a backup configuration for the database. Select object storage if you want to select to store backups in an object storage container managed by Oracle on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Select NFS if you want to store backups in one of your previously defined backup destinations that uses network file system storage. Or you can select Recovery Appliance to store backups in one of your previously defined backup destinations that uses Oracle Zero Data Loss Recovery Appliance. Since we are selecting the NFS option, then we must also choose from the list the configured NFS backup destination. You can also enable automatic backups. So if you select this option, this will enable daily backups using the policy for automatic backups. Next is to select your backup retention period. You can choose one of the options for the length of time that automatic backups are retained. Then click Save Changes. You can monitor the progress of the update of the database backup configuration by going to the Work Request Details page. Then wait until the database backup configuration process has completed successfully. Here in the Database Details page, you can view the information about the selected database, which includes a list of the available backups. Now, let's try to restore a database. Go to the VM cluster that hosts the database that you want to restore. Then in the VM Cluster Details page, under the Resources, click the name of the database that you want to restore. Here we can see the database details page that displays information about the selected database. Then click Restore Database. Then select one of the following options to restore the database. Restore to latest. The database is restored and recovered with zero or least possible data lost. Restore to a timestamp. The database is restored and recovered to the specified timestamp. Restore to SCN. The database is restored and recovered to the specified Oracle Database System Change Number or SEN. After selecting the option to restore your database, click Restore Database. You can monitor the progress of the Restore Database process by going to the Work Request Details page. Then wait until the Restore Database process has completed successfully and the lifecycle state of your database changes from updating to available. 